Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little bit of a different sort of paint and chat to help celebrate International Self-Care Day. Now, International Self-Care Day, technically July 24th, but still this week, so I didn't miss it by too much, but I honestly just found out about it. I had been looking up some things about self-care and realized that I would love to do some sort of video for International Self-Care Day if I found when that day was and realized it had just passed. So I decided to quickly put together a video to celebrate this day. So why did I want to discuss self-care? Well, if you know a little bit about me, this topic is near and dear to my heart. I have a background in psychology and actually art therapy as well. And while I was doing my master's, I wrote my thesis for an entire year on the subject of self-care for therapists. When I decided to go full-time as an artist for this season of my life, I realized that a lot of the same issues that affect therapists taking care of themselves can also affect those that work in some sort of creative field and typically are self-employed. One of the biggest issues that greatly affects both of these careers is burnout. And I wanted to discuss a little bit about what burnout is, how self-care helps, and in general, why self-care is important to those that are in creative fields. Whether you are doing this as a full-time career or not, I still feel like this is important information for really anyone to listen to. But before we jump into this topic, I wanted to quickly mention what I'm doing on the screen and a little bit about the artwork that I'm creating for this. So I want to first mention that as always I have the list of all the art supplies I am using for this picture down below so make sure to check out the description. Secondly though I wanted to talk about this subject. So as you and probably tell, I decided to do a drawing and painting of lilies with these beautiful dragonflies. So for a little while now, I had been sketching them in my sketchbook and kept wanting to just draw this new subject. And I see them outside of my studio window a lot, flying around. And when I decided somewhat last minute to put this video together, I wanted to draw something pretty that would be a good symbol of what I'm talking about with self-care. I'm really interested in totems and symbolism of both colors and animals and all sorts of things. And this is something I actually studied a little bit of in my master's program. And so I decided to quickly pull up what the symbolism of dragonflies was. I found some really great info that I feel fits in with the subject of self-care. So let me read you what I found when I just did a quick Google search. The dragonfly in almost every part of the world symbolizes change and change in perspective of self-realization and the kind of change that has its source in mental and emotional maturity and the understanding of the deeper meaning of life. Now, not all of that exactly relates to self-care, but I definitely believe that this idea of changing in perspective can really help one understand the importance of self-care and why that is so needed in their lives. I also feel like self-care is one of those things that when you learn how to take care of yourself, you can gain this mental and emotional maturity through understanding yourself better, taking care of yourself better, and overall feeling more connection to your life and having a deeper meaning in life, just like the symbol dragonfly. So 
that's a little bit of what went into me sort of quickly looking up this symbolism and realizing that dragonflies needed to be this quick picture that I did. Anyway, getting back to the subject of self-care, I wanted to discuss why self-care specifically for creatives that are working in any capacity with their creativity as a means for their income, why self-care hygiene is so important to keep up with to make sure that you can avoid burnout and have a meaningful and lasting career in something that you really love. So just a quick search for the definition of burnout shows up as physical or mental collapse caused by overwork or stress. Now I feel like for both the psychology fields as well as any sort of creative field, this can be exacerbated quite a bit because we are often using so much of ourselves emotionally and physically to show up to work every day. And those of you that are in the creative field and are self-employed and creating your own schedule and are the ones that decide your work schedule, I would venture to guess that you probably work even more than most people that have a typical nine to five job. I know I am like that as well. It can be very hard to turn off your brain from work, especially those of you like myself that work from home. There's less of a separation from work and home life. If you are guilty of probably overworking yourself, taking on too much work, and not having enough division between your work and home life, or work and recreational life, you might be at higher risk of experiencing burnout. And maybe you have experienced this. And the scary thing is, when you are experiencing burnout, you are preventing yourself from doing the work you love. I know it can be hard, and I experienced this myself, but taking breaks and taking the time and really giving yourself permission to have vacation and have a nice healthy meal, get outside, take weekends off, things like that can help you to be better at the work you do because you're not getting fatigued as much from it and ultimately will help you build this as a long-lasting career because the more burned out you get, the more you're gonna hate the work you're doing. And if you don't take care of yourself, you will want to quit. And I don't want that for you, and I don't think you want that either. I'm hoping to make more videos in the future where I talk a little bit about my own personal experience with taking care of myself and my own self-care routine and maybe doing videos about tips for creatives and really anyone to take small steps into having a better self-care routine and how to take time out for themselves. Let me know down below if you want to hear more about my views on self-care and the education that I have in it, as well as video topics and tips and tricks and things like that. Let me know what you want to hear from me. I quickly wanted to mention why July 24th is International Self-Care Day. And I have a link down below of where I found this information from the actual International Self-Care Foundation. And I really like why July 24th of every year since 2011 is recognized as International Self-Care Day. Self-care is something that you need to be at least thinking about 24-7. And that is why July, or the seventh month, 24th, like 24 hours, is the day that is 
recognized as International Self-Care Day. Self-care is not something you need to think about when you're already starting to feel fatigued or those first pangs of burnout. It's really something you need to do on a daily basis, at least a little bit, to make sure you are preventing yourself from feeling that fatigue, burnout, and all sorts of other negative effects when you don't have proper self-care for yourself. Remember, being a creative is an all-encompassing sort of career. It really is different than a lot of other types of work because you put so much of yourself and your soul into your work. And it's really important to recognize how much energy that takes and how much you really deserve breaks and time to re-energize and fill that energy that you have poured out into your work. If you're trying to pour out yourself into work and you have already poured out all you have, you're not going to be doing really good work, you're not going to be enjoying it, and you're going to get that much closer to wanting to stop doing something that you love so much. If you're doing art as a career, or even as, as a hobby, and you're not already putting something in place to take care of yourself in some sort of self-care routine, really reconsider that to make sure that you protect this amazing thing that is creativity that has meant so much to you in your life. Let me know down below what you thought of this topic and add to the discussion. I would love to hear from you, maybe a story or a time when you did experience burnout or you maybe even walked away from your creativity and hopefully have come back. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up to show me you like this video. Share it with someone who may benefit from hearing about this subject. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear more from me. I wouldn't want you to miss a video, so if you are concerned about missing a video, make sure to hit that bell to get notifications. And as always, I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day. Bye guys.